um, wine event. We'll call it wine event because last year was wine. And uh, we had a different theme last year for anybody that was here last year. Uh, what we did was we surveyed the children and we, we, we had them tell us what were their favorite foods. And we picked their top five favorite foods and then we paired the wine to their food to make them feel a part of the evening. Um, you know, I'd like to, of course, thank uh, Ruth, Rick, Spiridula, the entire staff at the Ronald McDonald House because what they do every day, I don't think most of us can even fathom or handle. Um, I've been here since 9 a.m. The only reason I say that is because when you're here early in the day and you see the children, and they're going for treatments and they're coming back and the families, it's not a very easy thing to experience on a daily basis. So, you know, we really owe them a great deal of thanks for everything that they do. And, you know, I really thank you from the bottom of our heart. So, I just want to make one correction because everybody kept saying champagne and french fries, but it's plus fried chicken. So, <laughs> so let, let's get that clear. Um, <laughs> I, I want to thank our volunteers for tonight. Um, they've been doing a wonderful job. I'd like to thank Eli Zabar. Uh, again, um, last year he donated all the food. Uh, he's been incredible. When I, I told Eli that we we're, were having this event, just looks at me and goes, just take whatever you want. Just ask them at the shop, take what you want, and they'll tell me, and then it's all good. So thank you, Eli. He's not here, but he's here in spirit. Uh, thank you to Claire Maitland, thank you to Sublaki King, thank you to my friend uh, Peter is a sommelier at Teresi, and by the way, I forbade him from helping people get reservations. So don't even ask him. He's been, at, he's, he's been asked a thousand times, because he gives people reservations and I can't go. So, being a little selfish. Uh, people ask me what, you know, what was the inspiration for tonight's event. Well, the house is the inspiration for tonight's event. The one thing that the house gives the families and the children here is hope, right? But then what does hope lead to? Imagination. And, and we, we can't forget that the children need to have a place where they can wonder and imagine of life and, and what life is after all of this. And, and that's the whole point of this. We, we want them to have the opportunity to imagine a life outside of here, healthy and living the way they want to live. So on that note, thank you all for being here. I hope to see more of your faces here on a regular basis because it's important that you're here supporting the families and the children as much as you can. And it's not financial, it's just being here helps so much. So, um, and I think I forgot Alexandra, and the other person I wanted to just quickly um, uh, make mention of. So I want to warmly welcome Ifigenia Canada, our new Consul General to Greece. Uh, she, she's here just 10 days. And I asked her, well, you know, how's it been for 10 days? She was wonderful. I said, well, that's because you haven't met any of us. <laughs> now it's all going downhill. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we wish you lots of success. Um, you know, the community really needs uh, help, obviously. So. Uh, thank you, and we'll support you as best as we can. <laughs>